now we will try an example in which the function is not given and uh, we are given uh, with uh, the data and uh, using this data point we will be calculating the derivative so the data is given to us for a runner uh, and uh, it is in the form of time and uh, distance and we need to calculate the velocity at two different point t is equal to uh, 0 0.5 and t is equal to 1.25 and we are uh, we shall be using um, central difference formula for this so central difference formula needs a future value and a previous value so in case of uh, t is equal to 0 0.5 uh, this will be the previous value this will be the future value in case of t is equal to 1.25 this will be the future value and this will be the previous value in both of the cases we will have some different edge so for edge for these two problem will be different so let's see how we can calculate uh, these things uh, in an example you can see data is given to us and we need to calculate the velocity velocity is equal to the derivative of the x value x by t and it is equal to x dash t so in short we need to calculate x dash for different values of t note here that uh, here independent variable is t uh, where in previous example it was x so now we'll be using t so we need to calculate x dash at ti which is equal to it must be using the previous value and uh, and the future value so future value in this case when t is equal to ti is equal to 0 0.5 the future value is 1 so i need to calculate it at 1.0 and the previous value is this uh, 0 so x 0, 0.0 divided by h so what will be h or how generally we will calculate the h in a data uh, if it is not given so our h is such that ti plus h is equal to future value which is equal to 0. Uh, 0, 1.0 so i know that this value is equal to 0. 0.5 plus h it is equal to 1 which implies that h should be equal to 0 0.5 in this case so uh, from here i can easily calculate the value of x dash which is equal to x dash at 0 0.5 must be equal to x of 1 minus x of 0 divided by 0 0.5 so yeah, the formula involves 2h sorry and so formula involves 2h so rest of the things are uh, okay i just forgot to write 2 here so what is the value of uh, x1 x1 value is this 6.8 whereas x0 is equal to 0 divided by 1 so my answer in this case is velocity at 0.5 second time is 6.8 meter per second as the data is given to us in meter per second so next we want to calculate the velocity at 1.25 second so 1.25 second means we need to calculate the derivative of x at 1.25 so our ti in this case is equal to 1.25 and uh, according to central difference formula if i want to calculate the derivative at this value i must use some future value so ti 1.25 must be here so this is the future value for it so i have to write x 1.5 minus previous value this will be previous value in this case previous values of the independent variable so it will be x of 1 divided by 2h so how to calculate h it will be same thing again so 
uh, it would be such that if I add a into this value, h into this value, it must go to the future value, which is equal to 1.5 in this case. So h is equal to 0 0.25 here. So I have the value of h and uh, the values of x at 1.5 and x upon. So I can calculate x dash at 1.25, which is equal to value of x at 1.25 is 9.9 .9 given here and uh, value of 1 is 6.8 divided by 2 into 0 0.25 so if I simplify this thing the answer is going to be 6.2 meters per second so this is how I can calculate in case of data. And uh, we can see this calculation with the help of uh, Excel as well. You can see H is equal to 0 0.5 as in the first case, it was equal to 0 0.5. So I have H value, I have initial value. Initial value in this case was T is equal to 0. 5, so I have that value. I can get x i plus 1 in, in there in, in this case it will be t plus 1 but by adding these two and t i minus 1 will be by subtracting these two. So I need to choose h in such a way that it must lie in between the data point. So I need to choose h so that I can get the value future uh, previous value and the future value that is given in the data. So this is the whole point. Now from the table I can see the value at uh, 1 is 6.8 value at 0 is equal to 0. 1 it is 6.8 0 is equal to 0. So I can just plug in and the formula which I have used earlier is useful here. So I can demonstrate it for the other part of the problem where h was 0 0.25 and uh, I need to calculate the value at 1.25. I know that if I add this value mean ti plus 1 it will be 1.5. So h is selected in such a way that the value must lie in the data given to us. So similarly I can subtract this to get xi minus 1. So if I get it it will be one so from the data i can write the value at 1.5 it is 9.9 .9. at 1 it is 6.8 so i can write the value 9.9 .9 and uh, 6.8 so uh, i can use the central difference formula and the answer is 6.2 we cannot calculate the error because exact value is not known to us. So this is how we can calculate the things using Excel. Once we can develop the formula, we can just put in the function and get the answer. So uh, if you have any query, you can email me. My email is given in the slides. So thank you very much for your attention.